All right, so we're gonna get started on the Spotify application. First thing we're gonna do is set up our quick start, and then we're gonna implement Bootstrap. And I just wanna get the navigation and the router done first before we move on to working with the API. All right, so Angular.io, we're gonna click the Get Started button, and then go to the quick start GitHub page and grab this command right here. And then what we'll do is open up, let's see, let's go to our projects folder, or C drive projects. I'm going to open up with git bash. And then we're going to paste this in. And I'm just going to rename this to, we're going to call this ng Spotify. Okay, let's go into that folder. And we're going to run npm install. And we might as well go ahead and add that to our editor here. All right, so we're going to have a couple of different components here, or a few different components, but we're going to just create two of them for now. And that's going to be the nav bar and then the about component because I want to work on the router and I want to have the about page so we can use the navigation to go back and forth. All right, so let's go ahead and create a folder called components. And in that folder, we'll create another folder called nav bar. And let's create a file in there called navbar.component.ts. And then it's also going to have an HTML file. So we'll say navbar.component.html. And let's see, let's go to app component ts and just copy that. Paste that in there. And we're going to change this to navbar. And for now, actually, you know what, let's make this template URL. And this is going to be navbar.component.html. And we have to add the module ID right here, which is going to be module.id. And then we'll just change this app component to navbar component. Okay, let's save that. And in the HTML file for now, let's just say navbar. And then we're going to go to app component ts and import it. Okay. Let's see, why is that red? navbar component from uh, let's see component oh slash navbar okay and then we're going to add that as a directive all right and let's see this app component ts i want that to have its own file as well its own template so let's say app.component.html we'll change this to template url module id save that and then we'll create that file Right. And let's go ahead and put the nav bar. Save that. And now we can run npm start. And there we go. Nav bar is being inserted. Now we're going to go ahead and create the about component. So we're going to have a folder here called about. Same thing we do with the nav bar. All 
All right, and let's just copy what we have in the navbar file. Paste that in, and we're going to change this to about. Change this to about, and this. Okay, and then here we're just going to say about. Save that. All right, so what I want to do now is grab Bootstrap. Now I'm going to do something different here. We're going to use Boot Swatch, which is basically just a customized theme version of Bootstrap. So we're going to grab, let's see, which one did I want here? Cyborg. So if you click download, we could bring this into our application as a file, but I'm just going to grab the link right here. And we're going to put that, we're going to go in index.html. And we're going to go right here. Paste that in. All right, save that. And now there's a style CSS file in the root here. We're just going to get rid of everything there. Okay, if we go back to our app, you can see now it's a dark color. So now we're going to work on the nav bar. So let's go to getbootstrap.com. And then we're going to go to get started, examples, and then the starter template where we can do control U and grab the nav bar. Okay, then we'll go to our nav bar HTML file, paste that in. Okay, we're going to get rid of the class right here, nav bar fix top, change the project name to ng Spotify and we can get rid of this contact we don't need that and we'll change these links up later we'll leave them for now and just save and now if we look at our app you can see we have a nav bar so now we want to work on the router first thing to do is to go into index HTML and go right after the first right after the beginning body tag and put a base tag which in, with an href to just slash. All right, then we'll save that. And then we're going to create a file in the root here and not in the root, in the app folder. And let's call it app.routes.ts. Okay, we're going to import the provide router or provider router no it's provide and then router config angular slash router okay we're also going to bring in um, our components now uh, we probably should have created the search first, but we're going to have the home page is basically going to be a, our search component. Okay, so we can search Spotify for music. So let's go, let's create that before we actually do this. So in components, let's create a folder called search and create our two files here. Okay, so this will be search.component.ts and search.component.html all right and then in here let's just put search in search component we can copy what we have in the nav bar and then just change up that and that all right so now back to uh, app.routes and we're gonna import the search component okay and we also want to import the about component
All right, and then we're going to have a constant called routes. Set that to router config. And we'll put our paths in here. So let's say path. And then this will be blank. That is that represents the home page. And then we'll say component is going to be search component. And then we'll have another path. That's going to be about component will be about component. All right. And then down here, we'll say export const app router providers. And in here we're going to say provide router and then just wrap that routes variable. Okay, we'll save that. Now we're going to go to uh, let's see, we're going to go to main.ts and set up our provider here. So let's say uh, let's see import app router providers and that's going to be from the app.routes file. And then down here we're going to add a second parameter and put in that app router providers. All right, save that. Now we're going to go to our root app component ts file and we need our router directives so we'll say import router directives and then down here we'll put that in the directives array save it Okay, now you can see down here we have no can't find primary outlet so that we need to go to our app component HTML and we're going to just go right under the nav bar here and put in router outlet. Okay, we'll save that. And now you can see it's loading the search. All right. Now I'm just going to wrap some stuff around this. We're going to say div class container okay that moves it over a little bit and then I actually want uh, a, a class called main as well wrapped around ev everything here all right so that's set up. Now we need to make it so that this goes to the about component. So what we need to do is go to our nav bar component TS. And we also need our router directives here. And that needs to be wrapped with curly braces. And then we'll just add that here. And then we should be able to go to our navbar HTML and we're going to add the links. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the href and we're going to say router link equals slash about. Nope, just slash and then another attribute router link active and let's set that to active okay and then we'll copy that and then do the same thing here except this is going to be slash about okay we'll save that go back to localhost 3000 and now when I click about it brings us to the about page 
All right, now we're just going to want to add these two components uh, in the main app component in the precompile array. So we'll say precompile. And what do we got? Search component and about component. Okay, we're going to bring both of those in here. should do it all right so we now have our nav bar set up along with the router so in the next video we're gonna start to work on the Spotify service and the search bar okay so I will see you then